okay, I just yelled into my phone. Yelled. Oh, I have got at least 10, 15 phone calls today. Blocked them all, deleted them all. And then, then, then the bloody home phone rings. And it's the same thing. Nobody there. Really, Floyd? Oh, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. I was pissed off. <laughs> that the guy started talking and he just all of a sudden he just hung up because I had just yelled into his ear really loudly. If they can't figure out a better way of calling people by saying hello as soon as you say hello, well, every time we don't hear anyone answering us, we know it's a bloody One of those, yeah, one of those, Tanner. It's a call we don't want. Home services, duct cleaning, whatever. My students laugh because I kept on going, really, I'm not interested in talking to you. I hadn't talked to anyone, hang up. <laughs> there was nobody there, there's never anybody there. I heard this guy after the long pause, because I listened, because I, I waited. I said, hello, and then I yelled, because there was nothing, nobody there. And then I yelled, and then a voice came on the line. <laughs> Click. Oh my goodness. So I thought, okay, I made the mistake of, of giving my, you know, phone number a few times to different places, which, you know, if I don't get my cell phone number, I don't get, I don't talk to people that I need to. So I need to be able to get phone calls that are not coming to my home phone. So I give my phone number, phone number. But <laughs> yeah, it, it, it obviously leads to a lot of phone calls on my cell phone, but this one was right here. <laughs> It was to this number. I have two phone numbers. My home number and my cell number. Oh my goodness. I've never yelled at anybody in the phone. But whatever, this, you know, I'm sure they get it a lot. I'm still in there. Okay. I still have coffee in there and I still don't, I have to make a new coffee. Fresh coffee tomorrow. I am going to go shopping tomorrow after work. I'm going to have beans today. Yes. I'm going to have lentils today because I love lentils. So I'm having lentils. Lentils. Yeah. Got chicken in there, but and I probably still have fish downstairs. but I should probably just have lentils today. Let's see, what could I have with my lentils? Uh, I probably have a potato in there, I should have that. Right, Floyd? Because you don't help me with this food. No, I have to eat it all myself. Yeah. People say, oh, do you, have a, do you go to Costco? I go, no, why would I go to Costco? I still have so much coffee in there. Why is it not coming through to me? Because mm. I'm not pouring enough, obviously. Are you okay, Floyd? Yeah. Never yelling at you. No, I just get annoyed with you and I say, close the tap firmly saying, you're not even drinking. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's the end of that copy. Yeah, that's the end of that yep, That's it. Okay, this is gonna be hot water. 
You're not going to want this water. It's going to be hot water. You get it? You get it? Hot water. You're not interested in hot water. That's for me. Okay? Mm -hmm. Tanner, you also do not like hot water. No, you don't. No. I'm going to make fresh coffee tomorrow. I seriously don't understand why people say, oh, it's delicious coffee is delicious. I have not run into delicious coffee unless I put, excuse me, don't, don't mark my phone. Unless I put sugar in coffee, it is not delicious. And yet so many people drink coffee and claim it is delicious. Delicious, well no. I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay, that's that, that's that. That will be for that, and that will be for there. So I there. Tomorrow I will go shopping. Will I go to the Portuguese bakery and get my and get my uh, Portuguese bread tomorrow? Not sure. Not sure. Not sure, Floyd. Hmm. Yeah, I went for a walk today with uh, Gail. It's really windy. I mean, the stuff in my yard is amazing. All the newspapers flying around, all the junk. Boy, this is the after winter cleanup that has to happen. So probably before the weekend, I will be cleaning up. Being as we're having Easter get together on Sunday, I will probably be doing that on Friday, then working on Saturday, then working on Monday. I hear you, Tanner. I hear you're playing with your feather thing. See, the feather thing used to be attached to a stick and you could whip it around and yeah, I don't, I don't like doing that to cats. But it still, it has a little uh, piece of metal on the end, a piece of metal, a chain, and uh, almost like a bell. So it sounds like the, would you like me to put uh, cold water out of there rather than warm water? I know. There. There. See? Now she's looking at the bottom of the sink going, water, water, oh. Water coming from the top. All right. I I really think that uh, <laughs> she's losing it. Anna, now what you do? Now you're looking away, looking away from the water. Doesn't taste quite right. It is cold. I checked it. It was cold. The water in the bottom of the sink that looks fascinating. Okay. Now I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Now she's drinking. No? Not good enough? No. So here she comes. What? What is it, sweetie? What's the problem? Hmm? What's the problem? No, I don't know. She just walks across that. Okay, fine. She doesn't sit there, but she walks across it. Um, Tanner jumps across it because he doesn't like walking on it, but today, <laughs> so I'm going to have to replace it because it got totally destroyed. I have two sheets of aluminum foil across my stove so that the cats don't sit on the stove and doesn't get hairy and footprinted. Okay, fine. So I have various things holding it down. You've seen it, but today someone who is unaccustomed to jumping up or jumping up there or to that being there 
jumped up onto the stove and went, ah, and actually, you know, like, <laughs> freaked out because wasn't expecting tin foil, this noisy stuff rattling, so that cat will not be jumping up there ever again. So I think that will be, uh, that's a one victory. Only I wish that, you know, the other cats would, like the, the Tanner cat and the Floyd cat would not jump up here. But, you know, it's done, and what can I do? Nothing. No hockey game on tonight, but there's a hockey game on tomorrow night again, so not popcorn tonight. Today is Tuesday. There's nothing to have popcorn with, so my traditions will remain intact. No hockey, no, no masked singer, so no popcorn. I don't eat popcorn every night. Probably not good for your, you know, Yes, but I'm running out of popcorn, so that is why I will have to go shopping tomorrow. Otherwise, I will have no popcorn. Well, I'll have popcorn, but only very little. Gail knows that my order is in for the huge thing of Costco popcorn. <laughs> I want that. I believe in buying in bulk the things that I... I have so many of those... Uh, fruit stations gummies and so many of those sesame snaps snacks because I got her to bring me you know, five and two so I have them stacked up in the in my closet I should put them upstairs but you know I should put them in here and get those stupid things out of there I have I have I have storage area with nothing in it well it's full of dishes I don't use Mm. Dishes I never use. Dishes I never use. This way a scale because I don't bake. I need scales. I have a second blender. The newer one there, the old one there. So my parents' old blender here, my parents' new blender there. I've got a big baking pan. Um cake pan, no, a pie pan, two pie pans, I never make pans, I never make pies, yeah, I never make pans, I never make pies, but I did when I was in my youth, when I was newly married, yeah, I made a few pies, um, yeah, some permanent uh, plates for outdoors, next weekend or the weekend yeah so I mean it's an awkward an awkward cupboard to reach but you know, full of stuff I well yeah that's why you put stuff you don't use much in there ah, well my logic it's solid I think